This tree here is a Feltophorum. The age, 60 to 70 years. A 14-ton tree, secondary branches have been trimmed off. The tree was in the line of the drains and it had to go. Has been moved from Probing Road in Ekoi to Eco Atlantic. A tree which in three years would have a canopy and branch of about four to five meters and progressing to the next five to ten years would fill up this roundabout that we're looking at. Where we've planted it now, we'll need between 250 to 300 liters of water a day. That is not just a tree, it's just not firewood. It has so many interdependent linkages that we cannot quantify. It's science, it's art, it's drainage, it's urban planning, it's, it's beauty. Otherwise, the tree would have been chopped off and it'll be making bread in somebody's over. My name is Babatola Akikube. I represent various alliances and teams to save the trees in Ikoi. This tree here is a Feltophorum. The age from our estimated calculation will be in the region of 60 to 70 years from the number of rings that we can count on it. In the redevelopment of Probin Road in Ikoi, Lagos, the tree was in the line of the drains and it had to go. And we were able to come up with a compromise. This compromise is being facilitated by Eco Atlantic with heavy machinery that will move this tree. The interesting context of the tropical environment is that trees are one of our biggest assets. But in the urban development of our cities, they're giving very, very low priority. This tree estimatedly would absorb more water into its system and pass out through transpiration more than we could even get to subside into the earth. We're here now about to move this tree. It's taken quite a lot to get here and I'm thankful I can't overemphasize our appreciation to the team. Now I'll just walk around to just help you understand in context what the size of this tree is. The root ball size of this tree can be blown away by the wind. But these are the things that make Ikoi what Ikoi is. The asset of everybody wanting to live in Ikoi is because these trees exist. Not only do they create shade or do they help in the um, balance of water absorption, they also create a lot of habitat for birds, which within this Ikoi environment, we have a bird watchers club. If all these trees get cut down, Ikoi would just be like any barren location. Whatever the benefits a lot of people derive from the high property values, which are primarily to do with the trees, apart from the location, we would lose a lot of it. As the tree movement happens, I'll give you further details. We are finally at the Eco Atlantic, Nigeria's premier waterfront development. We're grateful for the support we've gotten from the Eco Atlantic team, Kaleen, Shaguri, and David Frame, who've supported in more ways than you can imagine. A 14 ton tree, all the secondary branches have been trimmed off, has been moved from Probing Road in Ekoi to Eco Atlantic. The significance of this move is that it has saved us a tree 
which would be in the age range of 60 to 70 years, a tree which in three years would have a canopy and branch of about four to five meters and progressing to the next five to 10 years would fill up this roundabout that we're looking at. Where it was located, it was a major support in the absorption of water from the ground. Where we've planted it now, it'll need between 250 to 300 litres of water per day. And that would be to ensure that the root systems are well established. The trees, if we are mindful, particularly in the coastal areas of Lagos, are very critical for the birds that fly south in winter from Norway, from Sweden, all the wetlands which Ikoi was majorly part of, Banana Island, were areas where these birds made their homes. But now a lot of the trees are being cut down. We're hopeful that with this activation that has happened, people will become more conscious and aware that it's not just a tree, it's just not firewood. It has so many interdependent linkages that we cannot quantify. It's science, it's art, it's drainage, it's urban planning, it's, it's beauty. So this tree is going to create a focal point and we're hopeful that in partnership with the Eco-Atlantic team, we can move trees of this size to the various roundabouts that make up this huge futuristic development. I'm very excited about this. It's been a very long journey. It's been difficult. I'd like to give a shout out to the chairman of Koyo Balinde local government, Chairman Fuad. He's come to our side. And we've come to both understand that design is not a linear thing. When we meet obstacles like trees, if we put heads together, we can work out sustainable solutions that would ensure we keep the trees and also ensure the drainages are, are, are maintained. Lagos would only work better if we work as a team. This has been a team effort. I'd like to acknowledge Papa Omotayo. I'd like to acknowledge Lindsay. I'd like to acknowledge members of the Tree Preservation Society, the Ikoi Save the Trees, and of course, the, the Eco Atlantic team who have put muscle, who've put bite, who've put the shoulder behind this push to ensure that it gets there. Otherwise, the tree would have been chopped off and it will be making bread in somebody's over. So we're grateful. Thank you very much, everyone. And we'll be here in another year, hopefully another two years, another three years, giving you markers of the progress of this tree. Thank you very much.